Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a modern and colorful calendar view in SharePoint. Let's get started! And look at this gorgeous modern and colorful calendar that I have here embedded in Microsoft Teams. I created a normal SharePoint list, then a calendar view, and finally I used the Lists app to embed this SharePoint list directly in Microsoft Teams. This is what you can do. Interesting to know is that Microsoft has added additional features and capabilities in the calendar view. For example, here I have several items in this calendar. What I can do here is drag and drop an event and changing the day where this event is planned. It's pretty cool. So I can move back on the 12th of July. So this is my month and this is a nice overview to see in, in this calendar. Another interesting feature is the ability to embed this calendar in a normal SharePoint page. Let me show you. Let me go on the ellipsis button and let me open in another tab SharePoint. This is the SharePoint site behind the team. Now let me go on the home page and I'm going to edit this page. On top you have the classic user experience with the plus button to add new weapons. In this case I'm going to add a list weapon and then I'm going to target the content scheduler. Here I have the calendar view already available. This is a new capability. Now the list weapon support the calendar view. Then I can go on my month, July for example, my interested month, and then I can click on the republish to see this calendar view embedded in a SharePoint page. Pretty nice. Now, it's time to show you how you can create colors, how you can configure colors for every single item on the calendar. Now, let me jump on the tab that I opened it before, and then I'm going on the site contents page because I want to create a new calendar view and I will start from scratch so you can figure out how I created this modern and colorful calendar. Okay, let's start from a normal and default situation where you have a SharePoint list, then you can create your columns, you can use existing templates, and then you can add items inside. So this is my situation. Let me start to create now a calendar view. To do that, Let's go over the drop down where you can see all items and then let's go to create a new view. Here you have four different types of view. I'm going to target calendar. Let me define a name, agenda. Then you have to define the start date on the calendar. I'm going to use this column and then the end date, which is published by. This will be a public view, of course. And then you have to target the column that you want to display on the calendar. And this would be title. Let me click on create now. And here we go, I have now this calendar view just created. As you can see, I have no colors inside. Then I can start to configure every color for every item. To do that, I will use a new functionality available for the calendar view called conditional formatting. Let me click on the drop down here and then format current view. This opens a panel on the right and here there is the conditional formatting. Let's start to create every rule that I want to use to assign a color to every item. To do that, we have to click on the link manage rules. And here I have the first example. So I can start to add my rule or I can define the first rule, which will be this one. And let me select the title. I want to use the title to compose my if condition. Then when I have a title that contain training as text, then I can define a color. This would be yellow and here we go. I have immediately the color yellow assigned for every event and the calendar, which has as a title training. Okay, let me save now and then let me go back on conditional formatting. Here I can create another rule. So then I can target, for example, always the title is equal to 
and then I'm going to, to type in project X. Here we go, I define it project X. I already have green as a color, it's fine for me. Let me save again, then I can go back, I can define another rule, let me click on the add rule, then as always let me target title is equal to I have now defined Microsoft Lists. I'm going to select another color for Microsoft Lists and it will be this one. And then I can move forward with other rule. Again, title equal to, and then let me type in proactive planning. I have now proactive planning in. I can select a different color, this one, let's say, now I'm going to define every color for every other item. Here we go, I completed the setup with all colors on my modern calendar. Here we go, it's pretty nice. Now I want to focus on the fact that the limitation here on the if condition, it's not very, very good. I have only three columns that I can use in my if condition. Now I'll show you the advanced mode of this uh, conditional rule that you can uh, use and configure in order to add or use other columns. To do that, let's go on the advanced mode and then here you will notice a JSON. Uh, this is not very user-friendly, but it's not quite complex, I would say. For example, for the training here for the first for the first item, I'm using this if condition. When the field, the column title, contain the text training, then assign the color uh, yellow. Now, if you want to use another, another column, for example, in this list, I have status. So here I can define status, for example, and then I can add also the value here, so training, it's, it doesn't exist for this column. If I click on this one, this column, this item will take the default color of the calendar view. Now, I, I know that I have planet as value for this column, then I can click on preview, and here we go. Now I define this rule for every item, every event in this calendar view, which contain in the status column, the value planet, then mark it as yellow. And here we go. Now I, I mark it every event with status planet in yellow. Let me go to the, let me fall back now. If I click on cancel, I will go back on the, on the previous setup because this is what I want to have. But I wanted just to show you how you can play with different columns in the conditional formatting and in the if condition. Speaking about colors, let me go again on format current view and then conditional formatting manage rules. If these colors are not enough for you, you can select and pick up other. Now let me open a new tab and you can find this link in the description of this video. This is very cool. A user from the community has shared this site. And in this site are mapped all CSS classes available in SharePoint Online, which means that you can use these existing classes to define your background color if you want. So for example, let me select this one, MSBJ color, but I'm going to set this other one so I can show you that you can set also the font color. Let me pick up this one, then let me go on the short point side. And here, if you want to change the color, for example, let's say that instead of having for training this color, let me go on advanced mode, which is here, and the, the color displayed is the BG gold, and it is this one. Now we can replace this one with the class that I copied before. I'm going to pass them this class, which is magenta. And now if I select and if I click on preview, we can see that I have magenta inside. But of course the font, the font color doesn't, doesn't fit very well with this background. So I'm going to open again this site 
and let me type font in the search so I can go faster color dash and then I want to have the white here we go so I'm going to set and copy this font color class then I'm going back on my on my tab and then I'm going to change and replace this color gold font with the one that I copied before now if I click on preview I have this background magenta color and I have the font color white so this is how you can play with colors in SharePoint Online using existing CSS classes you don't need to write any kind of CSS style you can reuse what Microsoft provide then I can click on save and now I have this magenta color with font color white then if you want you can change also the font color and the background color when the user go over the item let me show you the user experience on the mobile device here I have Teams mobile opening the app I am logged as a user and then I'm going directly straightforward on the team that contain the tab that I just created content scheduler using the apps list and then I have here the calendar visible now if I move in July I can see this modern calendar here in the Teams mobile app with all colors that I want I can click double click and open the item and work in the same way on the mobile app all right, in this short video tutorial, we have seen how to create a modern and colorful calendar view in SharePoint. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. I hope to see you next time. Bye.